Hello, we did our research project on fan attendance. Um, in this research project, we're going to tell you the history of the fan attendance, the personal experiences, and the interviews we conducted during this research project. Culver Stockton College here, E60. I'm interviewing Adam Hawkinson, uh, former and still Blue St. Louis Blues fan. Okay, well, we got this project on uh, fan attendance, and uh, we just want to know, you went to a big sporting event in St. Louis a couple of years back, and uh, sure did. I heard you uh, came across some uh, violence that happened during the game, sir, and uh, I'd like you to uh, tell us a little bit about what happened, so if you wouldn't mind. Okay, well, the, the most violent part of the game was uh, definitely a uh, Dallas Stars player was uh, put in the penalty box. Uh huh. And uh, some, some Blues fans were getting a little uh, rowdy behind the benches. One dumped a beer down on him. And I've never seen this happen before. I've been to a lot of games, and he tried climbing out of the penalty box to attack the fans. And all the officials in the penalty box were the ones that had to stop him from going out there. Holy crap. I mean, why do you think this happened? Why was he attacking him? You know what happened? Were you close by it or what? I, I was across the rink, but it, it appeared to me that he just got he just got frustrated by uh, how the fans were tormenting him when they dumped a the beer on him. That was the end of it. Do you know who was winning? It was the blue, were the Blues winning at the time? Yeah, or? the Blues were up three to nothing. So maybe that's why. Okay, cool. That's a that's great. <laughs> that's great. Coach Henry in today. How are you doing, Coach Henry? Good, Jake. How are you doing? All right, I got a question, Coach Henry, for you. Do you have a personal experience as a coach where fan attendance has played a major role in a game? Yeah, actually, as a coach uh, at SUNY Cortland in uh, it's a Division Three school in New York State, every year, their last game of the year for the past uh, over 50-plus years, uh, they played a game against Ithaca Bombers, which is right down the road from them, called the Cortica Jup. Uh, it's one of the biggest games in America. It's actually been dubbed the uh, little, little, biggest little game in the nation um, by ESPN, actually gave them that in like 2003 or something. But... Um, they draw ten to 12,000 fans to that game. And I'm going to tell you, the atmosphere is just incredible. It's insane. Um, the teams can come in, you know, 0-9 into that game, both teams, and play like it's a Super Bowl. And it's just an amazing sight to see. Not only do your players perform better, but the atmosphere and the fans and the screaming and the yelling, it's, it's just an insane situation. And it plays a huge role in how each team performs because they don't want to let their fans down. You know, and they, they want to disappoint the other team's fans. So, mm -hmm. you know, I coached at SUNY Cortland, and I've been a part of three victories that we had in that. And I will tell you right now, home or away, fans travel well, and it played a huge part in what we did in that game. That's awesome. Thank you, Coach Henry. Well, this is Coach Logan Nutt, who I'm interviewing. How you doing, Coach? Doing great, thank you. Um, from any of your experiences as a player or coach, have you had any violence amongst fans? Uh, yeah, as a player, I've had uh, I've I've experienced some violence uh, late in games. My high school was a big team; we were a good team, and our our fans took a lot of pride in our games. And the referee called a bad call at the end of the game. We ended up losing the game, and fans threw water bottles out into the court. Um, also, my dad was the head coach at Arkansas State, and he got fired. Uh, and my brother was finishing his senior year in high school and I'd go back and I noticed the fans were taking uh, shots at my brother as a player like normal uh, but they were using my dad as a distraction and saying fire Coach Nut, Coach Nut sucks mm -hmm. yeah. and yeah. so on you know. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, do you think the popularity of the sport matters with fan attendance? Like, say, uh, like here at Culver Stockton, like basketball is a pretty popular sport compared to like any other sport. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Just like in uh, in some other countries, you know, soccer is the mm -hmm. most popular sport, and that's where the most people go. Also, the popularity of the sport may depend on how good that sport is compared to the other sports at universities. So if basketball is your best sport at that university, that's probably where you'll get the most fans. Right. Um, and the last question I have for you, uh, do you think violence among fans is more prevalent in cities or in more rural communities? Uh, I would probably say cities. Uh, it's kind of easy for me to say because I grew up in a city. 
Um, but I would say just because there's more people uh, and they and they're all taking pride in their teams and you know you have you have other cities that are traveling to an opponent that are in cities and we got a lot of people who are both taking pride and violence usually can break out maybe just some arguments or just anything mm -hmm. more people yeah, yeah. Right, I got you all right well uh, thanks a lot coach and that's all I have for you and thank yep. you thank you part of the documentary, myself, Jay Kaufman, Eric Moles, and Alex Pace will be talking about the history and interesting facts of fan attendance of high school sports, college sports, and professional league sports. Well, a fact of information I found truly interesting was that professional sports such as pro basketball, football, motorsports, and even college football has declined off the last three to five years. According to Lee Eigel, a professor of sports management at New York University, he claims that there are a lot of comp competing factors in this, such as the economy, as well as the development of new technology, of uh, home entertainment systems, things of that nature for the average consumer that they could buy for their home and be able to experience professional sports just from their living room sitting on their couch. In 2011, the Florida Marlins set the MLB record for lowest attendance in a game with 347 people because of Hurricane Ike. Uh, in 2013, Michigan set the record for highest fan attendance at a college football game with over 115,000. But ironically, this year in college football, the attendance has gone down 3% from last year and 6% in 2011. Major League Soccer in 2012 averaged 20,000 fans a game, while the NBA averaged 16,000 and the NHL averaged 15,000. Dece December 21st, 2012, the world ending day, the fan attendance went down because, of course, the people in the world ending. Some interesting facts and history of fan attendance. Um, stadiums are getting smaller because owners want to raise ticket prices, so therefore the crowd base will be bigger and they will make money that way with having a smaller amount of seats and they can raise ticket prices, which they used to be around like 20 bucks back in the 60s and 70s. Now they're around 70 or 80 for just a, a high level seat. Um, TV ads and commercials promoting games let people know when teams are playing, so therefore they'll get to know when their team's playing, so they'll know when they can schedule games uh -huh. I fucked up. Another fact that I know that is simple is obviously Division One teams are going to get more fans in because it's more popular. It's with the TV industry. Um, unlike Division Two, II, Division Three, NAI, because no one really cares about what's going on in the NAI level besides parents. But if you're playing Division One, obviously there's going to be fans, life lifelong fans of watching the team and going to the team to support them or not. And NAI fans, it's going to be your parents, some of your friends, so you'll get a total of a couple hundred people in the crowd. Another little tidbit of information that I have here, for 30 of 35 college football bowl games this past year, the average attendance was 46,278 people at all at 30 of the 35 college football bowl games, which is down... 5% from 2011 to 2012, and 8% from 2010 to 2011 through those same games. I want to share some personal experiences myself with fan attendance. When I was in high school, uh, I played football, basketball, and baseball. I want to start with football. Um, when my class came in my freshman year, you know, we really didn't have that many fans coming to our freshman games, I just because we were freshmen. But as I was a sophomore, I, that, I, that's when I first uh, started on varsity, and uh, we had a decent crowd, but we weren't that good. We went two and seven. Um, we had a few fans come out. There's probably about you know 2,000 that came out and watched us. My junior year, that's when we took off. Team started winning. We were five and all, and all of a sudden we had 4,000 fans show up. And from there on, we just started having 4,000, 4,500, 5,000 fans showing up at these games. 
you know, old fans were coming up to me saying how, you know, how how excited and happy they were about Redlift football because, you know, the team's looking a lot better and they have something. They're excited, they're more excited to come watch a football game than watch it in the from from previous years. They came and watched games where Red was getting their butts kicked and they were losing, so they didn't want to come watch that. So now they had they had something to look forward to, and uh, we were we were pretty good for the over the two years. Uh, we went eight and two my junior year, and then we went nine and two my senior year. Um, with basketball. I guess the old folks there is just a tradition that they always went to the high school basketball games. We had a smaller gym. I went to a 3A school in Illinois, so it held about probably a little under 1,000 people. So we'd have about 800, 900 people showing up there every game. Um, So that's that. Baseball, man, I don't know why. I guess it just wasn't a sport in our town. We were always pretty good, but we'd always get about 50 to 100 people show up, and that's usually just the parents. I'm not really sure why. No one's ever really came up and said to me anything about why fan attendance is so low, but um, that's all I have to say. Space. Off Daddy Hoffman. Yeah, we're good.